When we had last left, Team Bald, they finally departed Auntie Ethel's Tea House of Terror. But before leaving, they had words with all of the mask-wearing people who had finally come to and seemingly would help look for another hag who seemed to be residing somewhere around Baldur's Gate itself. As well, outside of the tea house, did they find none other than Mar- Marion? Marion? The, the woman who was captured by Auntie Ethel. And her husband, who was dead. But not for long, because Team Bald was able to furnish a incredible wand that brought him back to life. Sort of. Unlife. And so the two traveled off together. Happily? Now it's time to investigate other parts of the wilderness. This is Baldur's Gate 3. Welcome back. Let's get to it. Breathe deep and move. There we are. Uh oh. Be wary. This place is trapped. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's disarm that. Seems like there's more in here, too. Okay. Let's see. Can we have the team move up here? Where to? I'm guessing there's another one on this end, but I don't know. Sure. Step by step. What's next? Nasty surprise. Caution is warranted here. Lovely day this. For now. Can we ignite this weapon and burn it away? Yeah. How long is it going to stay there for, though? It's like oscillating a bit. Oh, there we go. Okay. Looking ahead. Do some of that. Another perception check. Good. Nice. Now, is there maybe another one here? Could be. Ooh, there's several. Oh, I could go for a good meal. Okay. Let me work my magic. I venture forth. Uh -oh. Let's get on with it. Let's try this way. Looks like a trap. Okay. That's worrying. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, hmm. Let us disarm that, I guess. No, never mind. Disarm that. So there's probably one right there, huh? If I had to guess. How could we set that thing off? I mean, I guess I could throw a rock. There we go. Oh. So sorry about that, Gale. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Scratch. All right. Good. And can we actually enter this hole? It doesn't say chasm. So I assume we can go in. I'm going to quick save. Just in case. Well, I guess in case it's dangerous. But I'm willing to fight to the end there. But more so in case it's a place we've already been. Oh, no. You can't jump it. Okay. Okay. Can't go in, at least, I should say. Alright, so then it loops over here. Gotcha. 
And thus, if we want to go across, we need to do a jump. Good. Uh-oh. More perception checks. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Step carefully. There's a trap. Alright, well. <laughs> let's quick save just in case. Another bunch of wooden barrels. Hmm. I mean, it's probably safe to jump on top of the other shit, though, right? Probably. I'll disarm this, though. Right, if we jump on top of these rocks, there's probably no trap there. That also begs the question, what if there's something good in the barrel? Anything good in there? Let's pop them. Nope. This one? No. There is some fire swill, though. Ugh, do I want to risk it? Not really. I'm fine going around the other way here. Well, what if there's traps here, too? What if there actually are traps this side? Ugh. Okay. How many rocks do we have that we could throw? Hmm. Not all too many. Still breathing, despite everything. And I can't really envision where many of them would be at. Maybe one like right there. Oh shit, it was right next to us. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks, Scratch. Alright. And then we'll throw another one right there. Nope. Okay. So that path is safe, at least. Yeah. Okay. Here, let's get, um, the bird is dead. Let's get that fucked up Quasit, huh? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. And shovel, let's have you just <laughs> let's have you just disarm all these. Okay. Can be our mind sweeper. Oh, is that it? Guess we may, may as well make you go and viz. Hm. Yeah, I guess that's it. What to do? It's quick save in case that's not actually true. Time to press ahead. Okay. Got a wagon back here. I think we had seen this before. Okay. Grimy chest. Carla, could you open that? I doubt that would be a mimic, but you never know. Okay. Let's send those to camp and these add to wares. Got some more booze here. A uh, wooden chest up top. Ah, a fire resistance. Okay. Give one to Shadowheart. Give one of these to Gale. Another potion of animal speaking. Man, these are just everywhere, huh? There we go. Got some salami. Good. My god, that deer was like... Screaming. So there's this section here, too. There might be a secret treasure, actually. If there ever were one. It seems like it'd have one here. Unless this is just purely for a combat advantage, maybe. Yeah, maybe that's it. Getting the high ground there. Okay. 
You know what? I'm going to rebind that stuff for real. Oh. Scratch is sniffing. Okay. Can you hold on? Keybinds. Let's see here. Yeah, let's change these around because I usually click to and turn. Okay. Let's see. Do you want to remove previous bindings? Yes. And then no. Because they were the same thing after all, right? End turn and cancel end turn. For whatever reason. Okay. Space. Yes. And then apply and no. Okay. So let's try it. Space. Good. Perfect. Okay. Over here. Hmm. Ah. What's that? That's what was being sniffed out. And what's inside? Ugh. Oh, holy water. This small flask explodes on impact, damaging nearby fiends and undead. Permanent something. Water. Oh. Okay. Well, it is water. And these, we can send these to camp. Great. Oh, Mountain Pass. This is it. This is Mountain Pass. Huh. Reach the Mountain Pass. Well, I'm not going to go through there then. Okay. Sure, so how do we get over here? I guess there's that section of the village we haven't been to. Let's travel. Yeah, there's still some fog of war right here. Let's be very thorough about this. Okay, and then actually it's on the other side here. Oh, it looks like we can jump this. I wonder if you can even break this wall. It looks breakable, but maybe not. Oh yeah, we can jump. Can everyone jump it? Yep. Honestly, I'm surprised the pathing lets you do that. Okay. Over here. Yeah, and what's this way? Oh. I think we had scouted ahead here with the camera. Okay. Something over there. Is Scratch just a guy or is it actually a dog? It sounds like a human making that noise, <laughs> not a dog. Okay. Over here. I don't know, maybe there is... Is it possible? Can there be dogs that sound actually like humans making a dog sound? There must be. I guess it's possible. Okay, over here. Can everyone jump that? Yep. Good. Okay, and we've got this lower section here, too. Oh, we can actually go down there right here. What have we got? Potatoes, sending it to camp. More potatoes. Maybe we could do a rest that's just potatoes. Oh, look. Hyena's here. Oh, God. Are they about to transform? Huh. They are lit up yellow. Which I think generally means Something you can... Tore right through these people. They didn't stand a chance. You can just talk or interact with them, maybe? 
Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. The creature's eyes roll back in its head, equal parts bliss and agony. Ugh. She'd eaten, feasted, and yet, looking into her eyes, you can see it wasn't enough. She's still hungry. Come, see, my flesh becomes new flesh. Dude, this is wild that hyenas are like this. You hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. The hyena moans softly as its body contorts, ribs cracking and flesh tearing. What is happening to you? Is there any way I can help? There now. It'll be all right. It'll be over soon. Watch the beast die. Melee attack. Strike while the beast is vulnerable. Leave. Um, what's happening to you? Is there any way I can help? Yes. Come closer. Feed the new flesh. Ugh. Her belly splits like a rotten fruit, birthing a frenzy of claws and fangs. What? This is how it works? Oh my god, gnolls are so fucked up. Okay. Sure, newborn knoll. What the fuck, man? Okay. Yeah, Yanagu's hunger. Examine. Bloated with the spoils of slaughter, but still hungry. A knoll is growing in the hyena's belly. Bloated. Restrained due to this sickness and bloat. Okay. Yanogu's hunger. Bloated with the spoils of slaughter, but still hungry. Okay. Sure. Well. I could try and do some of this. Wow. I can really do it to this one. Oh, it has four charisma. Good god. Pack tactics. Creature has advantage on attack rolls against a target if one of its allies is within three meters of the target and isn't incapacitated. I got this. Okay, well, let's get, um, bear mode active. Okay. Should we strike this one while it's, like, about to birth? Yeah, absolutely. Right, absolutely. fucking -lutely. Soldier. Right, let's roll right here. Good. Can't even catch my breath. And then I'm going to do a melee attack here. Why not? Or maybe I'll do an offhand one. Try me. Good. That was the right call. Okay. And then should I go after this one next? I think so. Okay. The lance board is set. Now what should we do? Hmm. Is scratch in combat? Yeah. What about you? You are not in combat, actually. Huh. That's wild. Okay. Let's do an attack. Fuck it, right? Attack the knoll. Honestly, not half bad. Okay. Your turn. Okay. It's my turn. And then Carlac and yours as well. Actually, hang on. Can we move her up a bit closer? Yeah, let's do that. Creator, destroyer. Let's see, eighty percent. Hmm. Should we go for a downed one though? Now nah, let's go for one of these. It's up. 
Good shit. Okay. We'll move forward a little bit. Okay. That hyena's making a break for it. Oh, should we go for the one that's running? Hmm. Maybe. Well, finish that one. On the move. Let's see. Can Shadowheart maybe engage with it? No. Not quite. Okay. We'll just run up then. What's the worst that could happen? It pulls another group? That's fine. We can take it. Okay. Here, maybe Scratch can engage. It's a bit of a risky play, but now that we know Scratch cannot die. Okay. Great. Does Scratch get attacks of opportunity? Yeah. Okay. Eh, missed. I was hoping you would discourage it. Well? <laughs> Man, hyenas are stupid as hell, huh? Look at this. Look at this. Is it just gonna burn all of its movement right here? Or is it, or is this- is it gonna keep doing this? Does it never stop? What if it never stops? Is this burning its movement, or is it never gonna stop? It's just gonna keep doing this forever. <laughs> Man, you know, Scratchy missed, but did you really? I think it's just gonna keep going. <laughs> can, I, can I do anything here? Uh, maybe I quick save and then reload? Okay, doing it. Okay, and then I'm gonna reload after it gets done saying do not switch off. Okay, and that'll, that'll fix it, right? This, this'll fix it, no problem. You know, I was worried this that this game would be too polished. I was worried. I like a little bit of mess. I like a little bit of mess. A little mess is a little fun. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. That didn't fix it. That did not fix it. That didn't fix it at fucking all. Okay, good thing we saved just before getting into combat. Right? Let's see. I think this one? Maybe? God, I hope. Okay. Let's see. Fingers crossed. Alright. I know the... the imagery is in a different area. Right, for the... the little preview. Okay, yeah, we're back here. That's not too bad. There was something we needed to dig up, though. I'm surprised the autosave didn't pick up or whatever. Can you manually dig with the shovel? Oh, is this different loot? Huh. No. Right? Oh, this is different loot, isn't it? Yeah, these other things are different. I think. Huh. Well, what can you do? Okay. So over this way. Yeah, we jump this. Good. Right over here. Right. And these had potatoes. Yeah, this is all the same. Okay. Great. Okay. 
Alright. Put those away. Then over here. Okay. Let's do let's a quick going. save. And let's approach here. Something tore right through these people. They didn't stand a chance. Hello. The creature's eyes roll cheating. Okay, we're going to take it the you exact same way. You watch with cold oh, I pass the arcana check. This isn't the end of one life, but the start of another. Knolls. Vicious, monstrous humanoids can spawn from the corpses of dying hyenas. Okay. Is there any way to stop this? No. Come closer. Feed the new flesh. Ooh. Bones snap as the hyena is hollowed from the inside out. Her belly splits like a rotten fruit, birthing a frenzy of claws and fangs. Sorry, I don't know why I wanted to see that part again. <laughs> I, I should have skipped that part. Okay. They're yapping. Okay. Sure. I'm heating up. So let's have Karlak in rage. Well, that was the wrong. <laughs> that was the wrong thing. I thought that was in rage. That I thought that was in rage. I thought that was it. Oh my god. It's because it's right next to each other. Hang on. Let's reload that. <laughs> Let's reload that. Good lord. Okay. This time for real. This time for real. No problem. No problem whatsoever. Alright. This is our, our punishment. I really need to reorganize my stuff into this custom menu. As you can see from my character, I've been trying to do it, but there's just so many fucking buttons, and I don't have enough bindings. Like, I want... I want these down here to be one through, like, zero. But then up top, I want it to be, like, hold shift and then press the number keys. You know? I, I want it to be very, like, very much like an MMO. Something tore right through these people. Okay. Creatures I she didn't yep. you hear what you watch with gnolls. Vicious. Okay, any way to stop? No. Bones snap as the hyper bellies. <laughs> okay. I'm guessing there must be more gnolls up there or hyenas at least. So, can we throw a spear over there? Oh, pretty good chance. Psh, beautiful. Love it. Okay. Can we get Karlak to engage with the burst knoll? Yeah. Okay. Survival is all that matters. Great. Gonna do main hand attack. Cool. Swift as my feet can carry me. Need to stay focused. Okay. Now, do we have a better hit chance in melee? Oh, you can't get there in melee. Fifty-five. Hmm. Should we do a range shot? Look, she's pretty decent at. Pulling off a range shot there. How much health does this thing have? Yeah, let's do a piercing shot, apply gaping wounds. 70% chance. Let's take it. Beautiful. And it lasts for two turns. So that works out. Okay. Right there. I speak, they burn. Okay, and then let's have this little bastard come in here, too. Right, because you're not in combat, once again. Okay. Do a claw attack on this one, maybe? Yeah. I think so. Cool. 
And the gaping wounds took as well? Allow me to demonstrate. Now let's fire off a firebolt here. Huh. Was hit for two piercing. Is that because of the gaping wounds? I didn't think magic let's actually worked for this. Let's see. Yeah, any attacks. Two piercing. Removed by healing. Okay. Let's see. Can we have Scratch get over there, maybe? Don't think so. Okay. All right. Should we finish this one? I think so. Let's have our little bastards do finishing on this one. Oh, crit miss. That ain't great. Okay. 70%. 65. 55. What is its wisdom? Six. Huh. Easier to land a hit with a ranged attack, I guess. We'll go for it. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay. Let's see here. All right, Karlak. It's go time. Can she throw it? Maybe. No. Okay. Battle of wits. Let's see, Gale. Can you blast that one again? Nice. Gods, it's hot in here. Okay, and then we'll have Karlak attack this one. Eat it. Beautiful. And then can she actually shove it off? Right, can she shove it, like, down there? See, it's lit up red. What does that mean? That she can't do it? Like it collides with the wall or something? Yeah, because here, look at that. Oh, fuck it. Let's see what happens. No. No dice. Still breathing, despite everything. Okay, I'm going in. Good. Ready. And your turn. And it's yours. Demise. And yours. Oh, Scratch gets a go. Shit, you might get the kill. <laughs> Look at that. They spread quickly. The whole coast will be infested if we don't burn them out. Okay. Let's not stand around. I can smell spilled blood a mile away. Let's see. Can we speak with Dead here on this one? Invalid target. Huh. Oh, this one works. How come this one doesn't? Are you so mangled you don't have a tongue? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. I should probably quick save here again. Viscera. Are we actually meant to catch it on fire? For real? Drow poison. Simple toxin. Esmel tar red. Send a camp. Okay. Well, well, well. And then over here. Bloated hyena, newborn knoll, got burnt. The good godly folk of Faerun. Let's give it a read. A circular from the Church of Ogma, Lord of all knowledge. It is stamped with the seal of Brevik Fainor, most high lore master of the unrolling scroll temple in Baldur's Gate. To the good godly folk of Faerun, in the first instance, and in the name of the Lord Binder himself, let me bid you thanks. 
The realm-shaking events that have since become known as the Second Sundering mark a time of great confusion and upheaval. Gods fell and rose again, lost continents reappeared, and the very weave shook as the plains birthed a new yet mysterious order. Such chaos is often anathema to Ogma's sacred pursuit of truth and knowledge. However, with the help of the innumerable first-hand accounts submitted to our agents by good folk all across the continent, the Church is satisfied that an image of these strange years has begun to coalesce. As such, we would kindly ask that no further unsolicited material on this matter be sent to our temples. While all knowledge is of import, of import to, Lord, to the Lord Binder, we are confident that any future plane-shaping events will not be presaged by the shape of tobacco smoke, or red in the droppings of the village herd. A new and strange age is upon us. For divine guidance, we humbly bid you to look to your local temple leaders, and to forward such relevant materials to them. Yours ever seeking, Brevec Fainor, Servant of Ogma. Okay, I will take that. And let's put it in our book of books. Sort by type. Great. Okay. Get that makeshift spear back. Anything in this rib cage? Nope. Okay. As per my last letter. Uh oh. Holy shit, have they patrolled down here? Did they get birthed? Oh my gosh, yeah, I think that's exactly what happened. Okay, well, that ain't great. Well. Let's see here. Huh. What if I roll right here? And then... Fire off a shot at you, Noel Hunter. Yeah, I'm gonna do piercing shot. Got it. Then let's do an offhand. Can follow up on our own debuff if we land it. Nice. A little extra two. Okay, let's run down here. Or maybe we should split up a bit in case they throw shit. Seething Fury. Okay, I'm going to use Missile Snaring because of my gloves. Hit me for one. Oh, that was Shadow Heart. Oh, uh, redirected. Gotcha. Missed me? Okay, what is Seething Fury? Rage brews within the Knoll. Once it gives in to its fury, it'll be able to attack multiple times per turn. Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, let's have you go in Viz. Okay. Good, so if you move, should be fine. Does a bonus action count as removing invisibility? I, it shouldn't, right? It said action. Let's find out. Good. It does not. Okay. They're coming over. Soul numbed on scratch. Can't take bonus actions or reactions. Eh, that's fine. Okay. So this one... Uh, both of these are fucked up. Okay. Well. What the hell can you really do? Uh, should we send in some big blasts here? We could, if we wanted. Right, we could do a level 1 magic missile over here. Or we buff up Karlak. Yeah, let's probably start with a buff. Great. Okay. Is 
And let's All have you way. go right here. Okay. Put him up. And Karlak, you are not enraged yet. Let's fix that. Okay. And then how far can she get? Oh, she can even get up here. Okay. Well, let's Over do this. Who oh, can't quite get her to reach. Look, for a split second, it shows as if she can. Hmm. But not quite. So I guess we'll go for this one then. We gave it a shot. Do a reckless attack here. Good. Broke its bullshit. Talk to me. Okay, and then... Let's see, should we apply aid? Probably. Let's have her run up. Counts as an action, but it's fine. It'll be worth it. Great. And then... Should we throw out a heal anywhere? Let's throw a heal onto Karlak, I guess. Take two. Great. Okay. Let's have her move up and engage. Unleash me. All right, and then let's see. Can Scratch maybe get a bite in? Nope. Gone with the weave. Too heavy to shove. Wow, can't even shove it. Okay. Good. Alright. He used an action for dashing. That's fine. Okay. So can I get up here? I could. Theoretically. Hmm. Can I get past this one though? I don't know that I can. Best be on my way. No, I'd provoke an attack of opportunity either way. Okay. Let's see. Do I have height advantage here? No. So let's roll in for an attack then. Yeah, let's go for it. Fuck it. Good. Ah, Carlac leveled. Sure enough, she has been getting a lot of inspo. Okay, I'm going to go back around this way because they're going to enrage, I think. Or whatever it is. Oof. Missed me? Cool. Festering Frenzy. The Knoll will become frenzied at the start of his next turn. Okay. Well, let's go for one of these back here, then. Not enough movement, huh? Okay, let's go for this one. Advantage due to being in Viz. Swords meet sorcery. Fuck yes. Can she throw it? No. Let's see here. Hmm. Can we throw something else, however? Let's see. Throw a weapon. 56%, 72. No, it's because we're threatened, huh? Huh. Could go for a shove, right? And then try and work around it that way. Right? Yeah, that might be the play. Okay, shove it. Cool. And then go for a big attack on one of these. Which one is lower? This one. Yeah. Reckless attack. Good shit. And we'll engage this one. No gloom, all doom. Okay, and then let's have Shadowheart here. 
Range is 45. What's that other attack here? Oh, it's snare. Okay. This is 50. Should we go for one of these others that's a bit fucked up here? Maybe. Yep, she landed the hit. Okay. Good. Let's see, is Shadowheart concentrating on anything? Should we put um, Shield of Faith on Gale? Maybe. Nah, he's probably okay. He can take a hit. Okay. What fools these mortals be. Let's see. So let's just launch all of them at this one. Good stuff. Okay. Too heavy to shove, right? Does that also... Yeah, provokes attack of opportunity. We could do... Expeditious Retreat. We could do that. But he'll break in large. Nah, it's not worth it. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm surprised this thing is not attacking one of these people here. We'll do Shocking Grasp. Good. And Opportunity Attack. Wow, you went for Karlak? Why? Why did you opt for Karlak instead of Gale? And look, we all have levels. Cool. Okay. I don't understand how the fucking aggro works. Yeah, why did it opt for, for Karlak instead of Gale? Oh, because it had a higher chance to hit her, even though um, Gale's AC is lower by one, which I thought was it. That's only part of the consideration. It thought that better to go after Karlak because it has a higher hit chance against her. That's wild. And it did hit her, true enough. It just didn't fucking matter because she has so much health and um, is resistant to all damage. Almost all damage, at least. Okay. Well, let's go in swinging, I guess. Listen. I could even debuff it. Blood nah, we'll just attack. Everywhere. Got one. Okay. Again. Whiffed it. Death is but a word away. Okay. How about if we go for, like, one of these? Anything? Nah. We'll just shoot one off. Huh, actually landed it. <laughs> Beautiful. Curse breaker. What? From killing the... Oh. Discover the curse of Yinogu and destroy his hyenas. Alright. So that was all of them then. Shit. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Well, all right. catch a break. What is that? Oh, another burnt dead hyena. Okay. Guess we'll take these. I'll loot What's these before doing? we level. There we are. So, should we be torching them? Have a lot on my mind. Can I talk to this one? Um, well, in it. No. I'd love to, thanks. Too mangled. Oh. An open letter on oppression and peacocks. Baldur's Bash is printed in bright, bold letters on the front cover, followed by many excl exclamation marks. This copy is focused on letters to the editor. Written in a furious, sloping hand, this is a letter to the editor of Baldur's Bash, a tabloid notorious for its controversial articles. Dear Editor, I find it despicable, nay diabolical, that you would defend Baldur's Gate's ridiculous restrictions regarding animals in the city. No animal larger than a peacock may gain entry? How archaic! My darling Giselle is the most well-behaved bear you'll ever meet. And yet, to spend time with my child, I must visit my summer home in Cormier. I call upon the Parliament of Peers to resolve this issue immediately. 
The emotional and psychological well-being of the people of Baldur's Gate is at stake, and I shall take this to the highest of authority should it not be dealt with accordingly. Right now, Giselle cries out for her father. This archaic policy has separated a child from their parent. I don't know how Grand Duke Ulder Ravent Ravengard lives with himself. Yours truly, Mr. R. Pickens. Okay. So does that mean, like, if if a druid bear enters town in Baldur's Gate, like, you'll run into trouble? Maybe. Okay, and a hyena ear. Put that in our alchemy shit. Great. Okay, anything else here? Nope, seems fine. Should we have Gale torch these? Oh, invalid. Okay. Maybe it doesn't matter. Noel Fang of Yanogu. So this one was like the prime one. I guess. Attention! Aha. Okay, got a spear back. And were all these looted? No, there was some more down here. Bloated hyena. Couple of ears. Rib cage. Anything in that? No. Look, one of these days there's gonna be something inside of a rib cage. Can you actually pick them up? Yeah, you could use them as storage, huh? Yeah, they only weigh point one units. Fastidiously separated from the rest of the skeleton and cleaned of flesh and organs. Amazing. Yeah, they, they actually make for good backpacks. Okay. As per my last letter. Is this one we had read? No. Though the name of the recipient is obscured, the letter appears to continue a debate of some heat. Your analysis is flawed. The hells are not so simple to understand. Boiling down nine cosmological layers into evil, but with a few more rules, does generations of scholars discredit. Each layer is its own unique moral and magical ecosystem. What Zariel permits in Avernus may be blasphemy to Mammon in the chain cities of Minaros. The hells bend not only to their whim and will, but to their mere presence. The more souls they acquire, the more that combined influence spreads. Avernus itself is glorious for study. Watch a Yugoloth mercenary debate mid-battle with a Rakshasa, and tell me I'm wrong. We fought a bunch of uh, Rakshasa in Baldur's Gate 2. And tell me I'm wrong. From its red starless sky to every bloody tributary leading to the Styx, there is something to explore. Of course, getting down there in the middle of the Blood War is a bit stressful, but you can't judge what you don't know. I've gotten off topic. The point is, you're wrong. Looking forward to your reply. Best, Silvira Savicus, Sage of Candle Keep. Ooh, we're definitely going to Candle Keep, right? We're definitely going. Okay. I wonder how similar or how different it will look. Oh, a bunch of fruit turned over here. Let's see, what have you got? Shipment orders. Simple, direct orders on how to deliver a chest. Okay. Whole bunch of food. We'll send that to camp. Arsonist's oil. Coat your weapons in an oil that transforms the target's fire resistance to fire vulnerability. Targets that are immune to fire damage are unaffected. Oh. So full and vuln is... You still can't do anything about it. Good for killing tieflings, I guess. It was then that Swires tossed the oil. It splattered the cambion. And all at once, its skin of brilliant carmine dulled to a dark red. Dulled to a dark, a red like cheap wine. And the fiend vented this sound of anguish I almost pitied. For its very affinity for fire was now undone. Cool. And a hand crossbow, which we don't need. I'll take that. Actually, we should probably give the extra fire thing to Karlak. 
Because she's the only one with an actual fire attack in melee. I've got a long road ahead. I mean, we could give it to Gale, but not that useful because he's not going to apply it. Okay. Dead knoll. Another ear. To the good godly folk of Faerun. Is this the same as before? Yeah. Okay. Church of Agma. Add it to where's. Shipment orders. Deliver the chest to me unopened. Read the first sentence again. Open it, and I will know, because you will be dead. This is not a threat, this is what will happen if you open the chest. NF. Do I know of an NF? Journal update. Find the missing shipment. This one. We found the remains of a caravan. A note on a corpse mentioned a valuable chest and someone called NF. Perhaps someone survived this attack. I should be reading these more often. But with how voiced everything is, you know, like, it's hardly necessary. Okay, I'll take that for my pouch of very important items. Good. The gate is closed. Oh, really? A handbill stamped for distribution by a political group calling themselves the Keepers of the Gate. Baldur's Gate, a bastion of commerce and culture, rewarded only with corruption and catastrophe. Crime, poverty, taxation, burdens unfairly heaped upon the shoulders of the common citizenry. Thieves and outsiders grow fat on the teat, while native Baldarians starve in the street. For too long, the Grand Duke and his Parliament of Peers have left our gate unguarded. If you, like us, stand ready to defend it, then join like-minded individuals for a frank exchange of ideas. Join the keepers of the gate. Enough of- enough is enough. The gate is closed. Oh, man. They invite you to the fucking marketplace of ideas. Jesus, okay. <laughs> well, I feel like we already clearly have a read on this organization. Good. Alright. Let's see, Gail, can you Directly. burn some of this shit? I don't even know if this is necessary. That's not even possible. Okay. Well, fair enough. Okay, well... We can close out this level here in the, uh, <laughs> among the remains of bodies and fire and wreckage by leveling up. Let's do a quick save just in case I make a grave error. Don't be shy. We'll start from the top. Carlac. Okay. Let's see here. 10 extra HP, class features, extra attack, can make an extra attack. An additional attack, a free attack, after making an unarmed or weapon attack. If you gain the extra attack feature from more than one class, they don't add together. Yeah, I think that's like the main benefit of fighters, isn't it? That they have the most extra attacks that they earn as they level up, right? So you get, you get a whole bunch of moves. Pretty useful. Especially if you have movement speed saved up. Or movement. Fast movement. Movement speed increased by 3 meters while not wearing heavy armor. Gained a passive. Change bestial heart. You can change your bestial heart selection. Hmm. I mean, they're pretty cool. But bear heart is so useful. Right? Especially how we're using Carlac. Like, true enough, if we wanted... If we wanted something else, could be useful. Foes have disadvantage on opportunity attacks against you, and you can use dash as a bonus action. Elk. Primal Stampede. Move speed increase. Tiger Heart. 
Tiger's Bloodlust. What is that? Oh, attack up to three enemies at once. That one buffs up. Yeah, I don't know. Resistance to all damage except Psychic is so nice. Right? I mean, sure enough, regular Enrage gets you resistance to all physical forms. But, it, man, it just really helps when we're fighting Wizard Lords and stuff like that. Spells. Legacy of Avern's Branding Smite. Possibly marks your target with light, preventing it from turning invisible. Wow. That seems situationally incredibly useful. Right? I mean, it's very situational, but it is very useful. Okay, so an extra attack. Nothing too complicated. Plus two to initiative, it looks like. Or is that just initiative is plus two in general? Maybe. I'm tempted to go back to the violin. I quite enjoyed it. Okay, some extra health. Ah, level three spell slots. Font of Inspiration. Ah, this is what I was told about. You regain all of your bardic inspiration after a long or short rest. That's extremely good. Bardic inspiration improved at 1d8. Another spell and can replace a spell. Okay. Well, what should we get? Definitely a rank 3 one, right? But what? Bestow curse. Curse a creature with your touch. The curse either bestows disadvantage on checks and saving throws or attacks. Let's you... Or attacks. Or attacks. Let's you deal additional damage to the target or robs it of its actions. It's concentration. Hmm. Fear. Targets drop everything and become fearful. They have disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls. If the target ends their turn where they can't see you, they can make another saving throw to shake off their fear. Ah. Feign death. Put an ally in a protective coma. Jesus, they become resistant to all damage except psychic damage. Disease and poison have no effect. Wow. How do they... How do they get out of that? <laughs> how, how, how do they stop doing that? It's not just that you're pretending to be dead, it's that you... You actually do enter a coma. Glyph of Warding. Inscribe a circle of art. Like, that can't be good with the worms going on, right? With the tadpoles? That can't be good. Entering a coma while you got a tadpole in you? Like, that... That seems bad. That seems real bad. Like, I don't think any, it would have an interaction, but that's, that doesn't sound like a good recipe. Glyph of Warding. Inscribe a circle of arcane glyphs on the ground. When stepped on by an enemy, the selected magical effect will trigger. Oh. Yeah, I generally love how 5th edition is handling so much stuff compared to 2nd, um, which Baldur's Gate 2 and 1 ran off of. Right? Because you can... You just have access to all the glyphs in 1, it seems. Rather than needing to commit to one ahead of time. Hypnotic Pattern. Hypnotize creatures that can see the pattern. They cannot attack you, they cannot move or act. This spell can be cast while you are silenced. I'm tempted by the glyph. Plant growth. Level 3 transmutation spell. Make weeds burst from the ground and smother the area. Creatures moving through the weeds have their movement speed quartered. Eh, that doesn't seem that good. Quartered movement speed is a lot, but I don't know who gives a shit. Stinky Cloud. Create a cloud of gas so nauseating it prevents creatures from taking actions. What the fuck? Was it that strong in the first game? Or one and two, I should say. Or we could get Speak with Dead and free up our necklace. Which is kind of tempting in and of itself. And will only get better. Right? That will only get better with age. Who? Maybe we get that. Maybe. God, 
God, I think we do it. For real. I think we get something as, as banal as speak with dead. Just because it'll free up a necklace slot. And we're finding so many necklaces. And quite a few of them are useful. God, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's the play. I'm doing it. Okay. And then over here. I can replace something. But with what, really? Hmm. I could replace something with Glyph of Warding. I could do that. Because Speak with Dead is a... What do you call it? Ability. It's, um... Well, we could also get Detect Thoughts. Which is kind of useful as well. Should I get Detect Thoughts? Maybe. Because how often am I using this stuff? I'm more of a, a melee dude anyhow. Because I'm College of Swords. I've built myself out that way. Right? Maybe better to... Because, yeah, I'm not going... There's a very low chance I would burn an action with fairy fire. When I could attack. That's why healing word is so useful for me. God, should I do that? I, I think I'm going to fucking do it. Yeah, let's do it. And Gale. Class feature, another, yeah, level three spell slots, two spells. Okay, for you, we should definitely pick something level three. Animate dead. That's very good. Bestow curse as well, blink. At the end of your turn, roll a d20. On 11 or higher, you vanish into the ethereal plane. While there, you can't be harmed or seen in this world. When you do vanish, your presence here is a representation of the location you'll come back to. You can choose to teleport. Teleport it up to 6 meters. Okay. Counter spell. Try to stop a spell being cast. If it is higher level than the spell slot you use to counter spell, you must make a check using your spellcasting ability to prevent it. The check's difficulty is equal to 10 plus the level of the spell you are trying to counter. That seems amazing. It's even a reaction. Yeah, that seems so good. That seems incredible. Oh, and Fireball as well. Grant Flight too. Holy shit. Oh my god. Gail, you've got so much shit going on. Fear. Targets drop it. Oh, we've read that. Fireball. Shoot a bright flame from your fingers that explodes upon contact, torching everything in the vicinity. On save targets still take half damage. Fucking A. Gaseous form. Transform yourself or an ally into a tiny gas cloud. It can't fall and fits through small openings. It's very hard to damage. The cloud has advantage on con, dex, and strength saving throws. Glyph of warding. Haste. Holy shit. Oh my god. But it's concentration. When the condition ends, become lethargic. Oh yeah, we saw this on the, the speed bottle, right? Hypnotic pattern. Lightning bolt. Hits all creatures in the line of the eruption. Protection from energy. Touch a creature to grant it resistance to acid, cold, fire, lightning, or thunder damage, not and. Remove curse. Touch a creature or object to remove all curses and hexes affecting it. Holy shit, dude. And mind you, we can get a lot of these available, right? Like, I shouldn't learn fireball because we definitely have a scroll that teaches it. So what do we want immediately? Remove curse is nice. Should I just play it safe? I know for a fact we have fireball, but I don't know about the others. I think we get counter spell and grant flight. 
I don't know if Grant Flight is a ritual or not, though. I would love it if it told me right there, but I've I've no clue. Remove Curse also seems really good, but that sounds like something we have on a scroll, maybe? I don't know, though. Oh, I don't know. Vampiric Touch. Oh, touch an enemy to siphon their life force and regain half as many hit points. For 10 turns, you can use Vampiric Touch again without expanding, expending an additional spell slot. Oh, fuck. But it counts as concentration. Holy shit. God, I want to make a melee range wizard. That sounds incredible. Okay. I think this is it. Right, I think that's it. So what all should we do here? Hmm. Well, I guess I'll remove Find Familiar. And let's put in... Let's put in Grant Flight for now. And maybe I should remove Ray of Frost. And then pop in... Counterspell. Sure. Why not? Yeah, my issue is that some of these are just so fucking good. So many of them are so good. It's ridiculous. Okay. I think- how is it that wizards are the only... class in the entire game that use int as their primary stat? Is it- is it you just chalk it up to the fact that Wizard has by far... I don't know. But they have a ton of subclasses compared to the others. So maybe that, like... You know, that kind of evens it out in a sense. Maybe. Okay. Life Domain spells. You get Revivify. Wow, you can just do it. Revive a Companion. They return to life with one HP. Sure. Beacon of Hope. Your allies will regain the maximum HP possible when healed. They also gain advantage on wisdom saving throws and death saving throws. Eh. It only lasts for 10 turns. Not nearly as good as the the bonding or whatever, right? Like, if, if I were going to use a concentration spell on her, it would be either that shielding one or even better, bless. Destroy undead. When you successfully turn an undead creature, it also takes 4 to 24 radiant damage. Damn. Okay. Prepare. Well, which one, which one should I have here? Is Fain Death really that good? I don't know. I don't know. Spirit Guardians. Call forth spirits to protect you. Nearby enemies take 3 to 24 radiant or 3 to 24 necrotic per turn. Movement speed is also halved. It's concentration. Oh, shit. Oh, you also have remove curse. Protection from energy. Mass healing word. Oh, heal your nearby allies. Wow. And it's a bonus action again. I mean, how can I say no to that? Well, do I want Animate Dead? That's kind of cool. That's pretty useful. But yeah, let's get rid of Guiding Bolt. How often have I really used that? Because I'm so much more keen to save it for something that I don't need to run the risk on, you know? I'd rather have a support something that is guaranteed to pop off. Okay, I think that's the play. Right? How important is enhanceability, though? You know? Maybe I swap that for, like, Prayer of Healing or whatever. Or a Blindness. Heal all allies you can see. That seems good. Protection from poison. Mind you, we can change these out. 
The issue is I always forget that we have that. Oh, this spiritual weapon is actually a bonus fucking action. Oh, God. And the issue with Prayer of Healing is that it's only used outside of combat. Okay. I'm going with Spiritual Weapon. I feel like some of these would be easier for me to, like, learn first off if I was just controlling one character. Right? Like, especially characters with a large amount of spells that you can swap outside of combat. If I were in, like, a four-player group and I was just minding my own shit, I would so much more easily be like, Oh yeah, of course I have Prayer of Healing that I can just swap in when we're out of combat. Right, and get everybody topped off. But when I'm controlling four different dudes and swapping them out every so often, it becomes difficult. For me, at least. Okay, accept. Great. Okay. Sure. Well, I suppose we will call the video right here. Right? Uh, when next we return, we will continue poking around here. There's a missing shipment right there that we should go get, right? We should absolutely do that. All right. Oh, hang on. What are these prints? Are these new? Is there an invisible something there? No. No, I don't think so. All right. When next we return, shipments. And I think there was Mountain Pass. Yeah, the Githyanki Crash. Yeah, which we should probably swap Lazel into the party for. Yeah, so maybe when next we return, Lazel will, will join up or something like that. Who should we dismiss, though? You know, who should we get rid of? God, I don't know. Everyone is doing so well. I guess we could get rid of Gale? At the ready. Right? I really appreciate his buffs and stuff, but he's probably the one doing the least. You know? And it's so useful, like like magic missile. We don't use it all the time, but man, when we use it, it, it can be a game changer because of the guaranteed hit. Eh, we'll swap in Lazel for, for Gale, I guess. Why not? Or at the very least, we'll wait until we're a bit closer. We'll see. All right. Oh, wait, hang on. Is flight a ritual? It's not. It's not a ritual at all. Oh, God. It's really good, though, because I assume we'll fly just like the bird does, or is able to. Oh, man. Oh, that's a tough call. Okay, alright, when next we return, <laughs> at some point, Lazel is joining the party again for us to find the, the crash out here. Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>